I find that especially, again, for our countries, where we are because of our geopolitical situation and, and history in, in northeast of, of Europe, I, I think that it is great risk for us. All uh, what's going on in Europe, especially when it weakens the European Union and maybe even you know, gets it close to the collapse of the European Union. Because then is a very clear question, what's next? Some people very easily say that, well, it might be that the European Union will collapse and, and, and more countries will, uh, will leave the EU, but then the question will be what's next? Uh, if all and each member state then afterwards should, you know, survive alone, then it's clear that other superpowers in the world, they try to ful fulfill uh, this, uh, this hole or this gap uh, which will be there here in Europe after uh, col possible collapse of the European Union. So it means that, of course, we have to do now everything to, to keep EU together and, and also strengthen it. So that I still hope that for this wave of populism and, and, and very easy or easygoing arguments, there will be also contraforce, contrapower, which uh, starts once again from basics. And basics is that 70 years there has been no war between EU member states. Don't underestimate this. All the positive sides of EU are still there. Common market, free movement of people, free movement of goods and services and so on. We, we should not forget all, all this positive side when we have this, well, turbulence uh, at the moment, because it's very easy to, to kill the EU. But uh, I guess nobody actually has good answer what's the next, how, how we survive afterwards in, in this very complicated world.